Ekufuado was cooked. Ekufuado isn't a lawyer. Nana Adadanko Ekufuado, he was prepared by the media, Gabi, the, 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 the Ghanaian statesman newspaper, those things, they cooked Ekufuado for us. Now, sir, who called Ekufuado? Wikipedia page, uh, this is what you see there. And let's take our time and look at Ekufuado, the resume, the Wikipedia page, when you go to early life and education. Nana Adodanko Ekufuado was born in Swalaba, Accra, Ghana, on 29th March 1944, to a prominent Ghanaian royal and political family as the son of Adlin and Edward Ekufuado. His father, Edward Ekufuado from Ikropon Ikuyapim, was Ghana's third chief justice from 1966 to 1970. Chairman of the 1967 to 68 Constitutional Commission and the non-executive president of Ghana from 1970 till 1972. Ikufuado's maternal grandfather was Nana Se Oforiata, kin of Achim Ibuyaka, who was a member of the Executive Council of the Governor of the Gold Coast before Ghana's independence. He is a nephew of Kofi Asante Ufuriata and William Ufuriata. J.B. Dankwa, William Ufuriata, his grand uncle was J.B. Dankwa, another member of the Big Six. He started his primary education at the Government Boys School at Dabraka and later went to Kimbu in Accra Central. He went to England to study for his O-level and A-level examinations at Lanson College, Sussex, where he was nicknamed Billy and joined the Anglican faith. He began philosophy. Sorry, he began the philosophy, politics and economics course at New College, Oxford in 1962, but left soon after. Let me pick, take this again. He began he began the philosophy, politics, and economics course at New College, Oxford, in 1962, but left soon afterwards. He returned to Ghana in 1962 to teach at the Accra Academy before going to read economics at the University of Ghana, Legon, in 1964, earning a BSc Econs or Economics degree in 1967 with a third class. He subsequently joined Middle Temple and trained as a lawyer under the apprenticeship system known as the Inns of Court, where no formal law degree was required. Let me pick or take this again. He subsequently joined Middle Temple and trained as a lawyer under the apprenticeship system known as the Inns of Court, where no formal law degree was acquired. He was called to the English bar Middle Temple in July 1971. He was called to the Ghanaian bar in July 1975. Ikufuado worked with the Paris office of the U.S. law firm Kude Brothers. I'm going to take this again. Ikufuado worked with the Paris office of the U.S. law firm Kude Brothers in 19, in 1979. He co-founded the law firm Prempe and Co. So as you can see from Nana Adodankwa Ekufuado's Wikipedia page, or basically his life uh, achievements and his educational background, he got third class in Legon. He came to the UK. He actually was an apprentice at a law firm. It wasn't any formal. Um, 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 uh, he wasn't given any formal certificate. He didn't have, he wasn't actually issued a formal certificate to say that he actually completed law school. And he said the same Wikipedia or the same record shows that he worked at Kude Brothers and Kude Brothers, a American law firm that had branches in the UK, France, and the US itself. So Ekufuado said that he worked with them. Now, remember, I like what told Ghanaians, um, as I read to you, ne, 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 ne information, no? sir, he worked in France. Now, we are going to concentrate with the Kude brothers. The Kude brothers, you know, in Yami, because a whole and the Kufuado said, 
or practice here. Now, the history about Kude Brothers here, Kude Ferrez or Kude Brothers LLP, where he claimed to have two, uh, 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 have worked a New York-based law firm with a strong international outlook. Sorry for the typos there. It was in practice from 19, 1853 until its dissolution in 2006. Kudere Brothers from 1853 all the way to 2006, and as it's still here, it, uh, it was dissolved in 2006. From 18, 1853, they, uh, they were working out to 2006, and a company no Eguye. Now, the founder is called Frederick René Kudé Sr. Charles Kudé Jr. Uh, Louis Lyons Kudé. Ono neba, and so, and a, uh, also Kahuna um, established this law firm. Now, date founded was 1853, or oh, New York City. At the time of its dissolution, it had number of attorneys 650. In, in 2006, you know, time and now could they brothers law firm, no, a guna, a guna totally, no, not lawyers, partners, um, um, over 650. So you have to understand, say, could they brothers, you no. Know, it is not a small law firm. It is not Prempe and Go. It is a big law firm. And the reason why Kude Brothers, you know, they are very, very famous. And they are very reputable. in call for big, big lawyers around the world, you know, respect them. And they say, they have been very consistent as a law firm internationally. And when I say locally, in America, in the UK, reputable lawyers have worked with this law firm. Even at this, at its weakest point, I just say, company the Ebegu, baby a crana, a druce, a begu crano. It has been around for 153 years, no. A begu crano, it had over 650. Time and a begu crano, lawyers are not omnium ayejuma. Now, you have to understand, sir, this law firm is not a small boy's law firm. Now, a good father in his reason, or the Hashem say, only could they for and a year juma. Time uh, now our France from 1970 to 1974. Now, the question everyone is asking, say, when the was with Kude Brothers, law firm now France, you know, what kind of practice, you know, what 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 kind of what, what kind of lawyer was the Kufuado? Was he a corporate lawyer? Was he practicing corporate law? Like, is it a corporate practice? Time and now, or not a criminal practice. Now, a it be a civil. And I say something like commercial law. Was it criminal law, commercial law? And I say corporate law. This is something Ekufuado has not really spoken about. Even though we know Kude Brothers to be a law firm, they were basically a law firm. Almost they, 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 they were an international law firm for international companies, multi million dollar companies. Ah, almost they make sure. They see to contractual agreements and a whole lot of international agreements and monetary issues. Now the issue is a good for the casa 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 say oh yeah, a yeah or they could brothers for you of France. But he did not specifically say what he did because if you are a lawyer, if you are practicing in France, you should have your field. You should have a specific field that we are good at and partners you work with. But to date. A good father has not been able to tell Ghanaians, tell me now what could they brothers know, and I saw you do what could they brothers know, uh, specifically law and not oye. Now, let us move forward. I am trying to get you the video from Mr. S. Senebeya. It will be easy because that interview has a lot in it. Now, do you know, sir, when you go to Air France, there is an organization, and I say, a body, and I say, institution, their job, and they say, lawyer be a Obeba Obeba France, any lawyer that comes to France, ah, one practice of France, and I say, wait, now certificate of France, you know? Oba, they have to give you permission or authorization to work in France. And that that body in France, you know, it is called the uh, Council National du Bureau, and number friend is CNB. So when you go to France, there, that 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 body is there. Amuna so we lawyer, Ebi Ufri, what we call maybe Ufri, UK, like Ekufuado came from the UK. 
to practice in France, uh, you will need to send all your documentations, all your certificates, all your documents that shows that you are actually a lawyer for them to clear you, for them to give you authorization to work in France. They are called CNB, a uh, year Council National de Bureau. I have personally called that office and I've asked them, say, look or check your data. Was there anyone called Anna? Was there at a point in your work from 1970 to 1980? That's why I'm saying, say, Kufuad, I'm going to gab more. 1970 to 1980. Lawyer be for UK by a friend, Nana Dan with Kude brothers. Now, those watching me, Council National de Bureau, you're closing it down. It has not been closed down. You can contact them. You can call them. You can email them. The journalists listening to me tonight. Council National de Bureau. And I said, I'll be to Bureau National de Council. And Nina is the same. Thank you very much, Al Hassan Jr. Bureau National de Council. I'll be to my promo to check. Was there a point between 1970 Say a lawyer from UK, a friend Nanado Danko Kufuado, came with a certificate for to be sanctioned or pe given permission or authorization to practice with Kude brothers. I have called. They said they cannot find anything like that. But Obia Beka said, Kevin, I can't keke. Kevin, to me, prove it further. Kevin needs to prove further to show, say, Nanado Danko Kufuado actually. Any Kude brothers are near Juma from 1970 to 1980. I can normally in some from 1970 to 1973. Easy. Because the Kufuado said, Oba France, 1971 was 1970. Let's say 1970. And now, Oba Ghana, 1974. And technically, we are looking from 1970 to 1973. That is what we are looking at. 1970 to 1973, you know. Ekufuado ne kude brothers, but instead of pulling data, we should not even worry ourselves. But because I wanted to give Ekufuado the benefit of the doubt, hey, beer, date in the final, so, so I opened it out from 1970 to 1980. 10 years. So that at least we will see Sir Ekufuado was telling the truth because you cannot tighten him up. I want to help Ekufuado. I want him to understand, say, I am here to let the world know the truth. Ebi Anani D. 1976. Anani D. 1975. Anani 94. 74. Anani 78. Anani 79. 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 Anani now, this is what we found. Now, also, Tia says, Eku Fuado saying say he worked with Kude brothers until date. No lawyer on earth, this planet, has come out to say he worked with Eku Fuado in France. No lawyer. In fact, no partner, no lawyer has written a book to insert Eku Fuado's name in and say, we were on this case together. No lawyer from the Kude brothers and no lawyer from the UK or France. And I'm going to say this on authority because a year body or France a sanction all foreign lawyers coming into France to practice, you know, they have said Ekufuado's name is not there. And and we one, no lawyer from Kude brothers from 1853. Let's crush that. From 1970 all the way to 1980 has come out to say they practiced with the Kufuad. No lawyer on earth. I'm saying this on authority. If there's one lawyer on earth who have written anything, ah, oh, yeah, you know, they brothers or a partner, ah, oh, watch a single statement, ah, oh, Kufuad, new woman, they should bring it out. Now, let's move forward. You see this? The documents I'm going to show you are all from Columbia Law School. The documents I am going to show you today are from Columbia Law School. Now, Columbia Law School, a school, 
any journalist ah or per se or finding out something on any Trump Jr. cell they can call them, email them, fax them. It is there. Now, Columbia Law School, our library view a ha, and I say a more database view ha. Every single lawyer, and not every single law firm you be in America ha, or net lawyer be a juma, be a dinoho. From 18 what what to 19 what what. The Columbia Law School, at our W Diamond Law Library, when you go there, any legitimate law firm, be a be in America. Ah, and what branches were UK? You be in Waha. The United States government knows about. Ah, you legitimate. It's a good day, brother. When you go there, they will be able to pull out every single lawyer that partnered or worked with that law firm. So don't get this twisted. This is not just a mere thing. It's the Columbia Law School. Go there. It is the Arthur W. Diamond Law Library. The address is there. More and more New York now. We are MPP for now. It is 435 West 116 Street, New York. Zip code is 10027. 10027. When you go there, this you need to pay to get access to it. I'm being honest with you. You need to pay. They'll give you everything you want. This is for educational purposes. I am here and I'm showing this is for educational purposes. Copyright issues. We just want Ghanaians to know what has been hidden from us. In Tukoha, we are Colombia, no? Your own Colombia, Colombia, Colombia Law School, no? Go to the Arthur W. Diamond Law Library and demand and ask, how much do I pay to get this? There's a law firm called Kude Brothers LLC, registered in the United States of America. An American law firm. Not our branch, our France. I want to know every single lawyer who has worked with this law firm. They will give you every lawyer. Thank you, Mr. Article. And remember, when a video comes, I will play it. Because I will share the expose in the video. So let's move forward. Now, 1970, Martin Hubbell Law Directory in five volumes, 103rd Annual Edition, 1970. Sorry, I need to, I said 1971, right? No, nope, I'm looking for 1970. It's still 1971. Um, okay. So, I need to pull 1970 right now. So, 1970, you know, this is what happened. I'm going to show you all, all the lawyers. Ah, Juma, Ewo, Kude Brothers. Okay, let me pull 1970 for you here. I think say, there was a little bit of... Um, so this is the 1970. I'm going to show you the list. And remember, this is a very bulk document with so much in it, with all the names. And when I show you here, I'll zoom in. We can refer to some of the names, but I'll publish the document. Send it by every single individual. Every single individual um, um, can also... Um, Download it and read and check the names by themselves one by one. It's very, very important. It's a bulky, bulky document. So 1970, um, 102nd Annual Edition, 1970, Volume 3, Lawyers, Montana, Oregon, Complete Legal Directory Service. So Okoha, they will give you every state you want, but when you open the, 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 the book, Every country knew woman, that particular law firm. Now, when you look at this, I'm still waiting for the video. That's why I'm a little distracted. All right. So when you look at this, 
1971, Edie 130th Annual Edition. 1971. Remember, Eku Fuado said, O ye free a year. He said, Wikipedia said, he started, he called to, uh, the, he was called to the English bar in 1971. So assuming he went to Paris in 1971, uh, he was there from 1971 to 1974 because 1975, no, no Ghana, he was sworn in in 1975. I'll come back to France. So we are looking at the window between 1971 to 1975, but we are going to look the window from 1970 to 1980. Now, I'll publish all the documents. It's a lot. That's why you, can, you see me trying to move around. Now, look at this. You see where I have marked red. Now, where I have marked red is Paris, France office, resident partners. And these are the lawyers are who worked with Kude brothers. Now, so who reading very well, like you see, say, on your right side, maybe I had a red. You had a red, Amak, you know. This was the French, France office. The Kude brothers, you know. They had offices in the UK and the US. Oh, by US, a different states. But when you go to France, they had one office. They had only one office in France. And this is the 1971 list of lawyers uh, who were practicing with Kude brothers. And I wish I could, I could, I could expand it more. But I can't, but I can sit here and read some names to you. I will publish, I will publish this document. I'll publish this document after the show for everyone. But in 1971, you can see names like, yeah, let me, let me, yes, let me zoom in. Paris France Office. Paris France Office, resident, what we call resident partners, lawyers who practiced there in 1971. You can see Charles Terum, born New York, New Jersey, September 30th, 1914. Uh, Obadan Wabedru, the second paragraph. You will see E. Ernest Goldstein, born P in B Pittsburgh. You can see a name like, um, um, uh, it's a lot. Like you see a lot of lawyers, lawyers there with their, their, their background and what they, they, they practice. You see the, uh, uh, some where they worked, you know, uh, 19, admitted to the bar 1939, New York, um, District of Florida, 1957, U.S. Supreme Court, um, Harvard Law School, Vice Chairman. So every lawyer, Biano, and their, 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 their resume, they will put it out there. And we have looked at all of the lawyers. This is 1971. Could they brothers, partners, every lawyer who practiced with them. And this is the France office. Now, it's a bulky document. Ah, you need to take your time to read. And then, especially France, the, you know, France office, you know, the number of lawyers who practice there. At the time, uh, Kude Brothers, ever for the or about 650 partners. So you have to understand, it's a huge law firm. Now, when you move to a year, uh, 1970, when you move to 1972, 1972, and also it's a huge document. And in the 1972 document, you know, Kude Brothers, when you go to the France officer, any other red, you can see it here. Charles Torem, born in New York, he was the head there. When you read the rest, you will see all the lawyers there. If a Kufuado's name is there, you will see it. These were partners, uh, lawyers, uh, not Omuye Juma Ewo. Kude brothers in France. And Kude brothers, you know, they had an office in France. So they had their partners, their, law, their senior partner, their, what, whoever practiced there, they will be able to show you who worked with Kude brothers. So this is 1972. That's why I'm saying that I'm not the only person with a fact. So if you also want to follow up, do everything possible and request for these things. Columbia Law School Choir, you can get it. The library is there. Um, the next one is 1973. 1973. Now, the same 1973, you know, when you go and check with their brothers, our France, 
the partners they worked with, Ekufuaru's name isn't in there. I only had it read now, Mark. You know, it, it goes on and on. You can read all. Ekufuaru's name isn't in there. They have partners they worked with. And nowhere does it show said Nana Dadanko Ekufuaru worked with them. Now, you can go on and go on because technically, technically, we are looking at 1970 to, to ni 1973. Because Mid-1974, 1975, Ekufuado was in Ghana. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say, say, 75, no, Ghana, 74. So let's say, say, you enjoy Ekufuado now. The Ekufuado, 1970 to 1973. 72, 73, where you at Kude Brothers, did you work with them? Who did you work with? Because we can go on. In fact, when I keep, I can 74, we can go to all the way to 79. We can go to 78. We can go to all these, we can go to all these years. And nowhere does it show a Kufuadu Din in any of the documents. You can go all the way to 1980. The documents are there. Every single person who practiced there in the, uh, 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 in Missouri, New York, France, and when you open it up, you see 1980. Maybe I am a You will see the France office there. You will see the lawyers who were there. Paris, France. You will see the lawyers there. So the, the volume, the book is big. The volume is there. Omu BI, you can go to Oregon. You can go to Missouri office. You can go to New York office. You can go to Chicago office. The one we are looking at very well is the France office. And the France office, you know, nowhere, nowhere did it state say, Nana Arudanko Ekufuado practiced with Kude brothers. But remember, Ekufuado has been somebody here. Uh, he has been speaking on this issue for a long time. Every day, Biano or say, um, he, 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 he actually worked with Kude brothers in France and that he practiced. He did not just say, well, he said he practiced. Now, the video is in. Let us watch the video because the reason why I want us to watch the video in NSA, video no, is Ekufuado speaking and telling us what he did where he worked, why he was there. Send your bear, we will know, sir, on one account, and you're not So the documents here, no, I'm just using the documents here to prove to you, sir, whatever Ekufuado said about practicing law, I was a year UK, no, I was France, no, it is actually true or a lie. Inti, I am going to do this. Let me play the audio of Ekufuado, Ekase, or practicing of France. Send your bear, when I release this document, you can also use this as, as, as your reference to ask questions. Now, let me, let, me, let me play this video. The video is in, officially, the video is in now. Thank you, uh, Mr. A. Um, this is the video. The document, I'll publish it. Ekufuaru never worked with Kude Brothers, never. Now, let's watch this video. Now, the video is very important to me because I know and I the kind of person he is. I didn't say it. Now, those NPP people who always have issues with me, the MPP journalist in Ghana, I've shown you, Matremo, I just showed you where you can go and access this document. Go there and access it and bring it back and say whatever I am saying here is a lie. But as, as we speak here, Nana Aradanko Ekufuado's own statement, and this is what he said. You went to France and you lived and worked in France. For five years. Five years? As a young man, yeah. So when was that exactly? At the very beginning of the 1970s. I went to France in 1970, in the last year of Georges Pompidou's presidency. Right? Yes. That was my next question. So <laughs> I, 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 I thought I would trick you with who was the president, uh, yes. Uh, Georges Pompidou. Yes. And um, um, I had, I mean, as a Ghanaian who was educated in England, mm -hmm. that had been the, the exposure, all the experience was... Um, English related and I thought I should have experience of another European civilization before finally coming back to Ghana. And so I was it was a, a choice. It was a choice. You thought oh. you wanted a second yes, European I country. Yes, I thought I thought I need I thought that that experience would be good and France made a lot of sense to me for the same reasons as I gave. All our neighbors are French and I thought that it would make 
uh, somebody, because right from the beginning, I always intended a political career. Oh, you thought of it. Oh, 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 yes. So you oh, thought yes. that you were and actually accumulating yeah. assets to, to, for this for, to make that that experience. I come from a very political family. Yes, uh, yes. As I'm which sure surprised you know. me that you went to France in 1970, because actually the, the leader here. The head of state at that time was my father. Was your father uh, a little bit of also to escape all of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so, like we all do when yeah, we're young. Uh, yes, yes. So when you arrive in France, did you know France before? Or is it with yes, first visit? Yes, I'd, I'd been there a couple of times as, as, a, as a student in, mm -hmm. in London. I'd gone, like all of us do, for every now and then for a weekend in Paris and all of that. Yeah. So I enjoyed the idea that um, I was going to go and work there. And I was unfortunate. I, a very famous and very well established, then very well established American law firm mm -hmm. uh, was good enough to offer me a job uh, in, in, in Paris. Uh, in Paris as a conseil juridique, uh -huh. as they were known in those days in Paris. Those oh, of so us it who was the very beginning of a career of a lawyer when absolutely. you begin as a conseil juridique. Absolutely. That's a, and I began it in France. Right. Really an extraordinary experience for me because. The firm was the main law firm for the major American companies that were doing business in Europe, mm -hmm. in France and in Europe. So you found that the big multinational, the big multi American multinational companies, Ford, Lockheed, Bank of America, Citibank, all of these were clients of Couder. Mm -hmm. And it gave me a big insight into how those corporations work and the the mindset that animates them. They also had important French 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 companies, especially those who had a lot of international exposure, like Marcel Dassault, uh -huh. the French oh, yeah. aviation yes. company, aviation, yes. was a, was a, was a, was a client of Coudet as well. And uh, one of your clients was also a wine company. So that's your Kufuado. Um, I, we are expect to say those people defending Ekufuado on radio and on TV tomorrow they will come out and say that Kevin Taylor is denigrating Ekufuado and that we will prove to Ghana and say Ekufuado actually um, worked with Kude brothers. He practiced there. He was on this case. His partner was this person. We are yet to receive any document from anybody around the world say he was there when Ekufuado was there. No lawyer, nobody, even the secretaries or nobody has been able to come out to say they know this man. He worked with us. We are still waiting. After this show, we will release this document. We will let the world know. We have to start asking questions. Ekufu Ado is hash puppy. Ekufu Ado is hash puppy. He was cooked. He is an imposter. That's why I told you before I ended um, 2021 edition and said, let us not focus on Ekufu Ado. But our focus should be on Baumia and Alankash. They are the new criminals. Those are the people we need to look at. Omo and the Kufuado per se, Omo Beshana nine to help him protect him. So they bear these kind of crimes and lies near there. So it is important with me, Odi Dimatama and Kubibia. If you want to show Mr. Oya Bema or your bar, the MPP journalist, Kwame Sefakai, a queer pocky, a year, Paul Adumotri. MPP, a year, a net two for journalists or man FM for a hokan can 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 can. Mumpo de documents ma muntu minkai mpo nchilasye. Sao ma FM fui, yade documents yade mamwa muntu minkai mpo nchilasye. Muntu minkai mpo nchilasye. Mosu munye juma kakra. Mumbe prove me, mumbe disprove me se Kevin Taylor bwa. Mosu mo freye, mo kwa ye mo checks. E kufu wadu ni wene ye juma. Na mwenjai diya mo ya oni jimina mo se krono. You see, inti MPP journalists na mwa gana no. I've given you work. There is an assignment. Go and do it and come prove me wrong. Me pesa mo disprove me na mi jaye me juma no. Because yaso somo so ema ninteunguni somo huna na mudi na Ghana is too much. NPP PhD holders, we are waiting for you people to come out and tell us say this is a lie. You also went there and the document you got was different. You have called today. They have sent you a document to prove a coup fraud was in court. He practiced there. It has been sanctioned. And no na me pese mo ye NPP reporters ekuya poki kwa mi sefa kai kwe kubaku. Paul Adomotri, a year man as the Azuri, a uh, those communities, a year as Sempa Obi, or my Hine, you the MPP representatives in Ghana, no? I am telling you, you know, the same platform, go and do your checks and disprove me. And yes, sir, Obi Obi Bomi do or Ghana in your statement on your platform, I will attack you. Media Mekachro. If you don't go, 
do your job, go do your research, bring facts out to come and disprove whatever you are putting out. That's what Tsunami Radio, Sulu TV, Sulu Bomidin, it doesn't matter. I will come after you. Because.